This video demonstrates how to manage and update your custom profiles. When you have a number of custom profiles it becomes necessary to manage and update these profiles from time to time. Always remember, iRacing does not know your custom profiles exist. You have to manage them via IR Sidekick Profiles. If you have not made any configuration changes within iRacing there is no need to update your custom profile. Let's walk through a few scenarios that create the need for you to update your custom profiles. An iRacing software update results in stuttering or poor FPS performance. Within an iRacing test session you make graphic setting changes to improve the FPS performance. Obviously you want these settings to be saved into your custom profile for future usage. Another scenario. You buy a new sound card, while in a test session, you change the iRacing sound settings to use the new sound card. Again, you want these settings to be saved into your custom profile for future usage. The question is, how do we automatically update our custom profiles? IR Sidekick Profiles has two mechanisms that make this simple. After exiting iRacing, switch to IR Sidekick Profiles. Select the custom profile you used for the test session. Click on the Update from iRacing Toolbar button, it's an orange folder. That updates all settings from iRacing into the selected custom profile. Coming back to the new sound card scenario. We don't need to update all settings, just the sound settings. In addition, we need to update the sound settings in all of our custom profiles. Here is an alternative way to approach that scenario. After exiting iRacing, switch to IR Sidekick Profiles. Select the iRacing Monitor Profile. If you are a VR user you would select the appropriate iRacing VR Profile. Click on the Sound tab. We now use the Copy Settings function in the toolbar to propagate the sound settings to other profiles. The Copy Settings function only copies the settings from the current tab, not all settings. Select the Target Custom Profile in the drop-down combo box. Press the Copy button. You can then select another custom profile and copy the sound settings to that profile. That's how we can propagate just the sound settings to multiple custom profiles. If you make changes within iRacing that were just experimental, and you don't want to use them in future sessions, then there is no need to update your custom profiles.